Globeliner. Day 34 of my epic prep. Yesterday, the Olympia Expo was off the chain. Um, meetings all friggin' day. It was crazy. Went from when it opened to when it left. Didn't stop talking. Old business to business. Got to meet with some fantastic customers of Cyvation. I talked to people about their training and fitness goals, but mostly that was left to Derek and, uh, and Tommy and my wife Katie and David Barr, our new expert on staff. Um, basically, you're looking at just a day of business. It was fantastic. I don't know what went on. I missed a few meals, but who cares? I'll make it up next week. What we're doing today, we're going to do the same damn thing. We're going to beat that expo doing our thing. How was the show for me last night? It was great. I wasn't there. I went to Gold's Gym right after that expo closed, and I had one of the greatest leg workouts of my life. My wife and I went. I couldn't get a hold of Simon over at Australian Sport Nutrition. I guess there's an international barrier between us. But we had one of the greatest workouts I've ever had. The equipment over at the Gold's Gym on Flamingo is fantastic. Wife and I crushed it. Left that, went to uh, the Rio and got some seafood, got some sushi, um, some fresh fish. It was, it was a wonderful night. Um, came back here and was in bed by 11 o'clock. Today we're up. We have an early breakfast meeting with a, with a good account of ours. They're distributed in the United Kingdom. A1, they're phenomenal. They're fantastic. They do a great job. They represent, and I'll be on the road with them in, in December. All you people in London, UK, don't ask me where I'm going to be because I don't know where I'm going to be, but I will post it when I know where I'm going to be and what day in the UK. My question of the day, I forgot yesterday, my bad, is going to be, hey Mark, I would like to know how you deal with adversity in your life and or your bodybuilding career. Also, what principles of bodybuilding taught you about life outside the gym? I deal with adversity by dealing with it. I've had a weird childhood. All right, I've had a lot of things happen that a lot of people go to the funny farm and say, all right, I'm done. Life's over. There's two paths you can take. You either take the path to the right way, which is success and brilliance, or the wrong way, which is mediocrity and fail. Or you can just sit there and be stagnant. Stagnation is failure. Do not stand still. Move forward. Always look to better yourself. That's where bodybuilding plays a role. By being a bodybuilder, I'm always trying to be bigger, better looking, harder, leaner, vainier, whatever it is. That's what you do in life. You take those lessons you learn from bodybuilding and you use those to deal with adversity. And what that does, it makes you a better person because in bodybuilding, you're overcoming obstacles to reach your goals. In life, you're going to hit adversity. You're going to have a family member die. My father died. I was, I, it was tragedy. What did my brother and I do? Went to the gym and we trained. We blew off some steam. Is that how everybody should deal with it? No. Sure beats the hell out of drinking whiskey until you pass out in your bathtub in your own vomit. That's why bodybuilding is the greatest thing ever, because it helps you reach your goals, and it helps you learn how to reach your goals in other areas of life. But remember, bodybuilding should enhance your life, not take it over. I am ready for the Olympia today. After the expo's out, bam, we're going to hit some chest probably with an account of ours. After that, we're going to go have dinner with our brilliant Australian account, who I will be rolling with in a week. Stephen Hines over at Flush Fitness. They're our exclusive distributor. They're Australia. Salvation Australia. We're going to hit that, come back here, go to bed. Sunday, we have a day in Vegas. We don't know what we're doing. All I know is that we're not going to be at an expo. Until next time, work hard and reach your goals.